We suffered with Obamacare. I went through two years of campaigning, and I'm telling you, no matter where I went, people were suffering. The effort to repeal and replace Obamacare right now is in the Senate, but the Senate is taking their time in figuring out what to do with it. Obamacare remains the law of the land right now, so insurers have to tell states whether they're going to participate for 2018 and how much they want to charge consumers. Some insurers are looking for really big rate hikes. In Maryland, Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield is looking for an average 52% rate hike. And in Virginia, Cigna is looking for a 45% increase on average. But one of the bigger problems with Obamacare for 2018 is that insurers are actually pulling out of the market. Aetna and Humana have said that they're not going to participate. And a couple of Blue Cross Blue Shield plans, like the ones in Kansas City and in Iowa, have also said they're not going to participate next year in Obamacare. Insurers get cost-sharing subsidies from the federal government, which help reduce deductibles and co-payments for people with lower incomes. But President Trump has not agreed to fund these cost-sharing subsidies, and insurers say they can't participate without them. Insurers are also concerned that President Trump will stop enforcing the individual mandate, which requires all insurers to get health insurance or pay a penalty. Mandating every American to buy government-approved health insurance was never the right solution for our country. And the individual mandate is key for insurers to bring in healthy people. And insurers need those healthy people to offset the costs of the sick people who come in and use a lot of health insurance. So right after the election for 2017, we saw this huge surge in people signing up for Obamacare. And it was likely the sick people who wanted to make sure that they were going to be covered for 2017. And a lot of insurers are also saying they're still seeing a lot of sick people sign up and the premiums are not covering their expenses. So they're losing millions of dollars. They don't want to continue participating in Obamacare and losing more. If insurers pull out of the market, there are going to be some Americans who go to the exchange next year and don't see any options because there won't be any insurers participating in their area. Right now, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas City is the only insurer participating in Obamacare in that area. And they said that they're going to pull out for 2018. So if nobody else steps in, you've got 19,000 people in that area who are not going to have any options next year. Obamacare is collapsing. President Trump and Republicans are always saying that Obamacare is collapsing. Is that true? It really depends on where you live. It's very possible that Obamacare may fall apart in some areas next year, but there's not going to be a nationwide collapse.